Hi, my name is Riley J. Lofton, and I'm a senior this year at SAU. Um, I didn't come to SAU as an ag major, which is where I currently am. I'm actually majoring in agriculture science, pre-veterinary medicine. I've always had a really intense love for animals, and just seeing them in pain or hurting always made me really, really sad. So, wanted to try to help them in some way, so I thought pre-vet was probably the way I should go. Try to make a difference. Um, I came to SAU undecided, and it's actually my current husband, who was my boyfriend at the time, who talked me into pre-vet, and it turns out that I absolutely love it. So, <laughs> here we are, we're married now. So the funny thing is, um, we both, we're both from Texas. Uh, I live in a very small town called Blossom. It's on Highway 82. If you've ever heard of Paris, you have to drive through Blossom to get there. Anyway, Seth lived in Powderly, which was 30 minutes away from Blossom and 15 minutes away from Paris. Um, he went to a different high school than I did, and it turns out we were in the same room a couple of times but never even knew it. Well, life goes on, and we both got band scholarships to SAU, and it's history ever since then. There are a few obstacles being married and going to school. How many freshmen we have this year, and what's been going on the last few years at SAU, I'm sure everyone knows, but at this point, that there is basically no parking anywhere on campus. Or if there is parking, you have to walk clear across campus to get to where you're going. Um, so that, being in an apartment off campus is probably one of the biggest obstacles, having to take your vehicle from a place where you know you have a spot to being 10 minutes late to class because you had to find a spot. But it's too far to walk to campus because you'd still be 10 minutes late. Um, as far as anything else goes, for me it's hard to prioritize time between being home and being with Seth and cooking, even though he does most of it and doing homework. It's very hard for me to focus here and do homework here. So I do a lot of it at the library where I work. Seth graduates in the spring. I graduate next fall. We'll have to stay for me so I can get my degree and finish it up. But as far as staying here past then, I have to go to graduate school and Arkansas does not have a veterinary school in the state. So I'll have to go out of state, whether that be Texas, o or, I'm sorry, Oklahoma, Arkansas, or not Arkansas, but Louisiana, something like that, not Arkansas. So I don't know where we're going to end up, but we'll see. So that's pretty much me.